G'day YouTube, welcome back to the channel. It's Fred here from Clooney Garage. Starting outside today in a small little break from the rain and by Jingo's Australia's had some rain. I'll tell you what, speaking of uh, getting damp, we're up for some dampening. Gonna get the rest of our beautiful VC Racing coilovers in. So young Frankie's on his way over here and we'll get things started. First thing to do is to pull the old springs and shocks out of the front of our VE ute here. And then we'll start getting into some mischief and fitting these bad girls in. Now look at these external reservoirs. I just keep looking at them. They're just so, so nice. A bit good for us. And Frankie's gone to uh, Super Cheap Auto and got some different rubber top mounts as well. And they have arrived. So on that note, let's wait for the village idiot to turn up and we'll get stuck into it. See you soon. Guts. All right, Frankie, so you're here. Woohoo! What have you got here? And you've got some components to take us through what you're going to do. All righty, well, we just need to put this um, BC shock absorber together as it doesn't come with the top mounting hardware. So we've got to get that uh, off our um, existing shock. And um, instead of getting horrible rubber mounts that fail all the time in this factory race, we've gone into super cheap. They fixed us up with some Super Pro bushes, so thanks very much to those guys, quite prompt. Ordered those and it came in in a week. Oh, there you go. Fantastic. They're always good with letting you know where the orders are up to too, aren't they? Very, very prompt. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, communication is the key in, uh, in retail, isn't it? Yep. So what we're going to do is, um, using a little bit of lube, and uh, we'll do the typical man thing, we won't bother reading the instructions, yeah. we'll just slap it together however it looks. <laughs> and uh, we should be okay. Righto. So I think that the trick here is, Frankie, is that you can actually reuse your OEM rubber top mount, but if you're gonna spend all this money on some coilovers and you want things to be tight, and you are gonna track your car, we recommend going with some polyurethane mounts, bit of longevity, and also don't scrimp on the last mile, eh, Frankie? Yeah, well, the rubber ones are 50 bucks, and um, they might last five minutes, I don't know, maybe more, but, um, these are 250 bucks, and I think they're worth the extra money. Yeah. Why not? And I think the um, some of the noises that we've heard from the, our shocks and springs is creaking, and we just do not. If you're spending this money on coilovers, go the extra mile. Look at your other bushes, and we'll take you through that as well. But you know, don't have a single you know bit of weakness when you could have just gone and fixed it up at the same time. Yeah, it's a fair bit of work to have them fail after one track day of the rubber one. So yeah. We'll try these. All right, so we'll let you assemble Frankie and then we'll have another look. All right, Frankie, so that was easy. What have you done there? Oh, she's pretty, isn't she? Purtier than a oh. Mary Kay pink Prius. Oh, look at that. You've got plenty of thread on there. So we've reused a, well, we've actually um, got our brand new washers from the uh, BC Racing Kit, brand new Super Pro OEM rubber top, and we'll compare that to when we pull the other ones out because they're going to look like uh... horrible. Yeah. Oh, Frankie, so we've been here before, so just for those of who haven't seen our previous episodes, how do you pull out your shocks and springs from a Commodore? Well, we've got these two big uh, these bolts, these stretch to yield, as everyone's told us several times. Um, bolts, so it's a 22 mil on this side. Undo both of them. Yeah. Of course, everyone has had these nice flash braided lines. We get that off uh, off there, and um, this goes down to the um, tone wheel for the ABS. So um, take this off as well. Yep. Then we got um, our little bolts on the top there. Undo them, and she should pop out. Right. And then we'll have a look how dopey these ones are stock compared to your nice new blue polyurethanes, Frankie. Definitely. Let's get into it. So Frankie, we've been honking around uh, Wakefield Park with um, some pretty high quality suspension. Show all the viewers how we've been doing our lap times. Well, we haven't had a real lot of um, damping. Oh. And as you can see there, there's uh, nothing oh. stopping us. Uh... <laughs> Look at the ball bearings at the top. Yeah. <laughs> so um, oh. anything's got to be an improvement over that. It's a wonder we've stayed on the track at all. Well, Jeez. pure driving talent, isn't it? Well, I think some of us haven't stayed on that track, if I'm honest. <laughs> I think that fish hook has swallowed up a couple of us. Mm. Wow, they are. They've just had it. 
They're gone. They are. Jeez, it's wet. All right, so we've just threaded through our new coilover. We've just gone a little bit halfway down on those um, splines there and just hand tightened it from the top. And Frankie, you've come up from underneath and you're doing the reverse. So you got your spanners on? Yep, pop the knees back in. Make sure that um, your, your knuckle is hard up against the shock absorber. Otherwise, you would have changed your, you know, this is the adjustment for the, yep. the camera. You don't want to change your wheel alignment. And with the reservoir, you've got to make sure that these are directional. So this is the right hand side. So we've got R on our reservoir. Should go to the front of the car. Keep yep. out of everything's way. Now, we've got a bit of a mischief here with our um, sway, bar, sway link. bar link. Yeah, it's a little bit short. We'll see once the pressure's on the car whether that pushes the sway bar in the right position, we can pop it in. But if not, looks like we might need a longer sway bar link. But uh, yeah, well, there might be time to get new sway bar linkages and bushes too, Frankie. So it hmm. could be a good thing. So Frankie, I think your necessity being the mother of invention, and you had a good idea of using a block of wood under a second jack to push up the sway bar, and what do you know, you've got that sway bar link in. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure a suspension guy would have been laughing at us, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we were like, ooh, ooh. what's the go? We're uh, weekend racers, and uh, we're not mechanics at all, Frankie. No. No <laughs> ability. No, no good. You don't want that. All right, so we've got both sides in here, Frankie. She looks like the Leaning Tower of Pisa just here. How'd you go on this side? Well, it's pretty flash, isn't it? Oh my god. Uh, need a wheel alignment, of course. Yep. Look at this. They didn't come out like from General Motors Holden look like that, Frankie. No. And we won't know ourselves with a bit of damping and rebound this time. That's right. Jeez, look at it. They were they're in there for 160000 those original ones. Yeah, well, like you were saying, I don't think that um, the original suspension lasts uh, very long. And probably you need to replace it less than 100,000 Ks, yeah, if probably. you want them to actually work. Exactly. Now, what, we're just investigating a little thing here because our little rubber caps don't fit the new um, sort of bolts we've got through here, but we'll find a solution there, Frankie. Hmm. And I think it's nearly time to put some semi-slicks on and go driving in the rain, because driving in the slicks in the rain is tremendous, as per the great Ayrton Senna once said. All right, Frankie, let's go for a drive, and look at the ride height here. I reckon we're gonna be okay. Why not? What do you I reckon? A little bit that uh, yeah. I think that's looking pretty good. Well, I think so, because um, slammed life and uh, kitten gutters and speed bumps not really our thing, Frankie. We we little circuit races. We like to get around corners quick. Yeah, yeah. Let's go test it out. Well, it's chalk and cheese, Frankie. What do you reckon? This, oh, this is very plush. Oh, it's like driving in a um, seven series BMW. It's very nice. Um, we've never had shocks and springs in this car. Oh, oh Frankie, Jesus. Easy. <laughs> You're a bad man. Very bad. Frankie, tell me that's not the world's best model we've ever done to this ute. See, it's very plush, isn't it? Um, mm. I was expecting quite a hard, aggressive feel, especially since it's still got semi-slicks on it. But it's quite plush and um, quite a nice ride. Yeah, right. So you could take Grandma in the back. <laughs> And uh, I don't think she'd be too upset. No, what about McKenzie? McKenzie! Yeah, you want to come for a ride on the ute? Pop your ears. Good girl. So, mate, what's next? What are you going to do with Jack's next? Well, I think we've got to take her into Jack's and get our wheel alignment put back in it. Um, mm -hmm. We'll probably just put um, a couple of degrees negative in, a little bit of toe, and uh, like we did last time. I don't think we've got too aggressive. Yep. I think four degrees might be a little bit too much for this ute, but mm. we'll get some advice there. Yep. I'm not sure about a, um, a sway bar. Uh, Tom, we'll get some advice from the suspension specialist there and uh, and see what we could do. Maybe a white line front sway bar, adjustable one maybe. Yeah, or well, maybe some experts that always are very helpful in our comments, Frankie. Maybe they can give us some guidance. That's right. There's a lot of people out there who've been on the track with uh, Commodore Utes and uh, and can give us some guidance. That's it. Uh, let's yeah. see what suggestions we, we get. Now, finally, you're going to go and take the green off these things, aren't you? Yeah, well, um, 80 tread wear would be a, a new experience for the Ute. Jeez. And with some actual damping yep um we really are hoping for um a little bit of extra time yep that we can take off her and uh maybe we can uh, challenge warren luff at that <laughs> one minute 11. well let's go over to the uh to the order board and then just do a wrap up oh frankie so let's start with the time so where are we up to at wakefield with black betty well old number nine's at one minute 14 and um the time warren luff did was a one minute 11 and a half i think Ooh. So uh, hopefully there's a little bit of time in those shock absorbers and tyres and we can start knocking on the door of what old Warren can do. Yeah, well, what, what's your target? Given what we've done, we've got better semi-slicks, we've got coilovers, we've got a bit more driver talent just quietly. Um, 
what would you like to see that number be? Well, it'd be really nice, I think, to get a 1 minute 12, if uh, we could both get into that sort of time. Uh, maybe it surprises us and does a, a lot more than we're thinking, because this is all over the shop and uh, yeah. making us look very raw, they yes. tell me. Yes. So maybe we look a little bit nicer and, and we can knock two seconds off it. Let's, let's Well, let's, it. let's go for that, and I'll book our next track day in tonight. Take us through Black Betty's mods, and what have, what are you going to tick off the list here? Well, we've definitely um, done those ones, so... That's yep. a, a gone. Um, we've done our um, our slicks. Yep. So uh, I'm not sure what we were repairing, but that that's was... the front bar. Oh well, that's definitely done. Yep. But uh, we're going to get some more bushes for the back of the car and um, lower control arm bushes as well. And well the guys at Jacks will help us out with that guy. Okay. And uh, yeah, that it's just this engine, which oh, uh, hopefully we've got some exciting uh, news and some bits and pieces yeah. have arrived. Well, a little birdie told me, Frankie, that the heads have come back from Higgins. And also the cam has come here from the US from old mate, Brian Tawley. That's what old Brian, he's helped us out. Thanks Brian, they're always very receptive on emails, young yeah. Brian, so that's good. Well, they're different time zones, so they probably uh, don't, don't see us. No, stuff. that's right. That's okay. All right, on that note, don't do it for Dale, do it for Brocky. Hope you enjoyed our episode. Catch you later.